Hi everyone, Maya Acosta joined by City Manager Greg Garrett today to go over some of the latest happenings at our most recent City Council meeting. So to start that off, we announced a new uh, award, the Tatchby's Extraordinary Women recognition. Right. So we've already opened up nominations for the public to uh, submit their friends, family members, coworkers, whoever it may be, women really making a big difference in the community. Right. So. Super excited about it. Yeah. I mean, speaking of awards, our finance department received a budget, actually two budget awards, one federal and one state. The one award from the state, we received a score of 100 out of 100 possible. That's extraordinary. And as you know, we've been saying this a lot, and that is our budget is our playbook. Mm -hmm. And so the revenue's coming in, the expenditure's going out, we, you know, public safety, maintaining our streets and roads, those sorts of things. We want to make sure that the public knows what we're spending the money on and why. So it's, it's really important to understand a budget and to make it so that people can understand it. Right. Right. That's really important. In addition to that, at the city council meeting, we had Susan Wiggins, past mayor Susan Wiggins. She resigned due to family reasons. She's in District 5 for the city of Tehachapi. So if you're in, living in District 5, you're a registered voter and you want to get involved in a positive way in your local government, mm -hmm. please consider applying for the city council appointment. The city council will be receiving applications for the appointment between March and then uh, November when the elections actually happen. So it's a short-term fill, but it's very important to have five people that are engaged in the community in a positive way. So very excited about that. Right. And then pickleball. Yes. I know that E. Budge and Chief Standridge and others, you know, pickleball is all the rage, mm -hmm. but we have uh, a large parking lot in our police department and we're going to repurpose uh, a small part of that into a pickleball or four pickleball courts. Right. So we're really excited about repurposing that existing asset and bringing in uh, people that, that want to play pickleball and, and bringing them closer to the police department, right? It's about community policing and getting things done that way. So we're really excited about pickleball. Yeah. And then walking groups. Exactly. And we're here at Kelsey's Cafe where uh, our first walking group event will wrap up. Yeah. So the first week of uh, spring here in late March, we're inviting the community to come out, walk with us, city officials, police officials, have a chat with us, right. meet your neighbors, right. explore all that downtown has to offer, and we'll end here at Kelsey's and invite everyone to join us for some lunch. Yeah, it's similar to uh, Coffee with the Mayor, when we started Coffee with the Mayor. Uh, you know, people, it's a venue yep. that people can come and talk to us about you know, uh, positive things, negative things, just let us know what's going on and your view. Uh, and the lucky groups, same thing. And we'll, like you say, we'll end up here at Kelsey's. And if you want to buy yourself lunch at Kelsey's, then it'd be a great thing to support local businesses also. Absolutely. And uh, we covered more of the events from our latest city council meeting in detail on our podcast, Hatchpod. You can listen to that on all streaming services. And as always, any questions or concerns, be sure to email them, media at tatchbycityhall.com. And thank you so much for thank joining you, me. Maya. Yeah, thank you. All right.